So I set up a couple uh, pressure sensors in here. So like one's laying under the mattress here and then one's over there on my wife's side. Um, I'll include a link to a post where you can actually see pictures because this mattress is too heavy to lift and record at the same time. But pretty much each of those sensors, the wires then run into here, which then this talks to the ESP32, which that talks to Home Assistant over Wi-Fi. And then in Node Red, I have a couple um, flows set up to pretty much monitor the voltage feedback of the pressure sensors. And if the voltage is under a certain level, then it is assumed that either me or her are in here and it will turn on the corresponding helper for either occupied on my side, occupied on her side. So we'll see here, if I hop on my side, you'll see my light turn on. And then if I walk around to her side, you'll see hers turn on. And I have it right now on about a 10, a five or 10 second refresh check. So it's not exactly real time, but for my case, I don't need it to be real time, just as long as we know if someone is in here, you know, within a few minutes of them actually being in here. So the purpose of this, why I set it up, um, and I'm sure there's other use cases, um, but mine is that we have kind of a home alarm system in a sense that we call night mode. And so I wanted to have it set up such that if neither, neither of us are sensed in here when night mode is turned on, then it will go ahead and turn on the lights in here and also turn on the TV in here because obviously we'll be now coming up here. But if my wife went to bed first, then obviously we don't want those lights turning on if she's in here sleeping. So now I have an easy way to see if me or her are in here and then I can cancel that portion of the night mode flow, if you will. Um, again, I'll include a link in the description for a post I made that kind of explains it a uh, little more. Thank you.